Our next topic is type casting and conversion. Casting means changing a value from one data type to variable of another data type. Java supports two types of conversion or type casting. That is converts a data type into another data type manually or automatically. So uh, manual conversion means programmer is explicitly converting a data type from one to another. An automatic conversion that is done by the compiler. Now see, we can convert a uh, primitive convert primitive data type into one from one variable into another type variable. That means that is to convert a value of one type to another primitive type. That is known as primitive type casting. Then there are two types of primitive data type casting: widening casting and narrowing type casting. Widening conversion is also known as implicit conversion or implicit casting. That is the value of a lower data type is converted into value of a larger data type without loss of information. That is known as widening conversion or it is also known as implicit conversion or casting down. This is automatically done by the compiler. For example, a byte data can be converted into short or in the or long or float into double etc. For example, suppose we are using a variable int i is equal to 1000. Now, this value of this int variable is assigned into a higher data type variable double j assigns i. So, double is a larger size variable than this i. i is an int, it takes only 32 bits of data, double j assigns i. Here, automatic type casting takes place. That means we are just assigning a shorter variable to a larger variable. So compiler automatically converts this in data into double data type format. So this is a widening conversion. Then see a widening conversion of an int or a long value to a float value or a long value to a double value it may result loss of precision because this uh, float or double value may contain decimal places or fractional parts so this will lose when we assign that type of variables into integer type data form then see the example here there is a variable int that has been assigned a value 7 then we are assigning that variable x into a long type of variable long y is equal to x so x is int type y is long type data then here this automatically compiler automatically converts this integer type into long type. Similarly, here we are using an expression float is the dc equal to y. y is a long type variable, is that is a float type variable. So, here also compiler automatically converts this long data type into float value by assigning a precision that is 0 0.0 value. So, that is why the output is before conversion the value is 7 because x is an int value after converting that int variable into a long form the value is 7 itself then here float is a d is equal to y so after converting this long variable into a float value a point 0 has been added because it is a float type variable so this is an automatical conversion or implicit type conversion of data so here also we are using an int variable int my int is equal to 9 so that int variable has been assigned into a double variable double my double is equal to my so here also automatically conversion of typecasting performs now narrowing conversion or explicit conversion that is conversion from a larger data type into a lower data type that is known as narrowing conversion this may result loss of information and this is implicitly done by the programmer uh, explicitly done by the programmer so that is also known as casting up so programmer has to specify the explicit conversion for example double i is equal to 100.7 so here i is a double value then we are using a smaller data type j int type that has been assigned into an int type variable that is int j assigns i here before we are assigning the date value of i into this uh, int data type i is a double data type so this is a larger one this is the smaller one so before we are assigning we are here we have used a conversion or casting method that is 
within bracket int means before assigning the value of y into the variable j that i is to be converted into int form so after converting into int that has been assigned into the variable j here the double variable double takes an 8 byte of uh, data that has been converted into integer variable of that takes only 4 bytes of data so this type of casting is known as explicit conversion so user here programmer has to specify the casting method and then see the example double d is equal to 166.66 this is a double variable now there is a long variable long l is equal to variable d so before assigning the variable double type variable d is converted into double double type variable d has been converted into long so within bracket we specify long that is d has to be converted into long before assigning that value into long variable f similarly here is an int variable int i is equal to l here l is a long type data so before assigning that long type data into the integer variable here a conversion has been specified as int after converting the value of i is assigned l is assigned into the variable i so see the output here before conversion the original data was 166.66 after converting into long data the same value then after converting into int value also 166.66 has been changed as 166 the precision decimal part has been lost here so this is known as narrowing conversion or explicit conversion